So yesterday we asked this question, which of these conditions is more humid? Which has more humidity? So to properly answer this question, you have to understand the difference between relative humidity and humidity. So relative humidity is the amount of moisture in the air versus how much it can actually hold at a given condition. Whereas humidity is a representation of the actual amount of moisture in the air typically expressed in grains per pound. So a grain is a unit of mass. It's a measurement typically used to measure the weight of bullets or ammunition. It is also used to measure the physical amount of moisture in the air. So back to the question. So there's two ways we could do this. Number one, we can go to an app like the one here and look up the grains of humidity Okay, so here's a psychrometric app I have on my phone, and you can plug in the conditions and get the actual grains of moisture. So we'll plug in the 62 degree dry bulb, and then we'll click on the relative humidity, plug that in here, which is 44%. And you can see the grains are 36 grains per pound for the first air condition. Okay, and now we'll go to the second condition and plug in 27 dry bulb and 78% percent relative humidity and you can see the grains are about 16. So the answer to the question is the indoor condition of 62 degrees and 44 percent relative humidity has more humidity. It is more humid than the outdoor air condition of 27 degrees and the grains as you saw were 36 grains versus 16. Now if you don't have a psychrometric calculator another way to do this is actually my favorite way which is using a psychrometric chart. So the first condition the dry bulb is 62, which is approximately right here. I'm just gonna kind of swag this, not get very precise, and we go up to 44% RH, which is probably right here. So I'll make a dot there. The second condition, 27 degrees, 26, 27, which is right here, and the relative humidity is 78. So let me look at these lines here. So that would be roughly about right here, okay? Now, just for purposes of this, we know that this condition here is more humid because it's higher on the psychrometric chart. And as we go up in this way, we add humidity to the air, et cetera. So the relative humidity is not a good indicator of when you're comparing two points of which one has more humidity. And you can see the dew point, which we didn't really talk about of this air, is around here, which is about 19 degrees, maybe 20 degrees. The dew point of this condition here, if we go to the left, is about 40 degrees. So dew point is a good indicator of the amount of moisture in the air as well. If you were to go to the right here, you would see the grains, which we talked about before. And the first condition had 36 grains, which is probably about right here. Oops, I'm on the wrong area there. It's probably about right here. And the second condition had 22 grains, which is about right here. So you can see, you can pull, so you can use the grains or you can use the dew point, whatever you're more comfortable with. Hey, I hope you got something out of that. So, you know, like and follow us for more HVAC tips.